Andre, I am driving a brand new Ram Rebel. And I am driving a brand new Ram truck as well. Really, so this is a video of two Rams. And what we're gonna do is find out which of these two Rams is fastest around our off-road course at Tumbleweed Ranch. So the plan is to build a professional off-road course here at Tumbleweed Ranch. But since it's 10 degrees and everything is frozen solid, we can't do that until it gets warmer. So today we're gonna take the two trucks and see which is best by doing an impromptu race. And we're gonna start here at Tumbleweed Ranch. Then we're gonna take it down Sniper Hill behind me, as you can see. And then, of course, through Andre's pit. And finally, through Nathan's crack and back up Sniper Hill to see which of the two trucks is quicker. But before we do any of that, Andre, tell them about the trucks, please. The red truck is a Ram 1500 Bighorn Backcountry, a brand new trim for 2022. Under the hood is a familiar 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with e-torque, producing 395 horsepower with an eight-speed automatic. It has blacked out 18-inch wheels with Wild Peak Falcon AT3WA all-terrain tires. It's an off-road package. Of course, four-wheel drive, four-low, rear locker, and a little bit more ground clearance than the standard Ram. The eight-speed automatic transmission is controlled with a rotary dial. This leather-wrapped steering wheel has volume controls and radio station controls on the back. This Bighorn truck has an eight inch infotainment display with navigation and heated seats and a steering wheel. And it has a sticker price of $56,000. The blue truck is brand new for 2022, or at least the trim level because it's the Rebel GT. Think of it as a TRX light. Under the hood is also a Hemi with e-torque. It's got the same horsepower and the same transmission as the red truck. The blue truck has Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax and their 33s. And while it doesn't say 4x4 here, the GT also has four-wheel drive and a rear locker. The best part of the blue truck is it has a Mopar Performance Exhaust. Listen for yourself. And just like the TRX, the GT has a traditional shifter. And like the TRX, it also has panel shifters. And like the TRX, it also has a big screen. Now, optionally, it has a heads-up display and, of course, a big-ass sunroof. As you see it, the GT is $72,000, or nearly $16,000 more than the red truck. Andre, since we don't have an off-road course yet, what do you suggest? How about I go first and I make the path that you can follow? Down Cypher Hill, down the fence, over to Andre's pit, through Nathan's Crag, across, and you can time me right here. All right, so it's who's fastest? Yes. Fair enough, let's do it. Fudge, it's so cold out here. This is the coldest day of the year in Colorado. What a day to do a test. All right. I'm ready to I'm locked and loaded. All right, I'll do the typical three, two, one, go, okay? Okay. This video is brought to you by our friends at Onyx. Here at the ranch, we know where we are, but Andre, can I borrow your phone? If you don't know where you are, you can take Onyx, load it on your phone, and whether you have cell service or not, you will never be lost. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, roll. Okay, so I am in full drive high, con uh, traction control disabled, rear locker enabled. I could have uh, chosen four low, but I figured, hey, uh, because this is a little bit more of a speed challenge, um, I will stay in four high and I should have plenty of traction. Um, this backcountry is supposed to be a little bit more of an affordable option for you. If you want a four-wheel drive truck, but you like a little bit more unique styling with blacked out elements like uh, the grill, the headlights, the badging, the wheels, but still really aggressive tires, uh, rear locker, four-wheel drive system, a slight uh, improvement in ground clearance. Uh, this is the package for you. And yes, uh, at $56,000, it's already becoming a little bit, tiny bit pricey, but you don't have to choose every option that you see here. This is a big horn. 
does have a couple of us a little bit more premium options okay Andre's bit was just fine okay and I'm following this route from Andre's bit to Nathan's crack Nathan's crack is uh, actually a huge huge obstacle okay and I am good okay boy I just I felt like I hit something felt like I hit something there on Nathan's crack uh, my approach angle was really not good uh, well I mean it was kind of a little bit too steep okay and pressing the line okay uh, that was interesting um, yes I probably need a little bit more suspension travel hey Andre I heard a bit of a thud what was that about? um I heard a bit of a thud on What was your nose doing in Nathan's crack, Andre? I... As always, I'm trying to, you know, balance my driving and unfortunately my approach angle was not good enough. Can you see anything? Yeah, I would rephrase it, Andre. I would say you hit your chin on Nathan's crack and uh, you did do a little bit of damage. Come on out, check it out. I slowed down for Nathan's crack and I put a dent in the bumper. Oh no. In the front bumper. Is that metal? That's that's metal right there. Wow, you were going I very fast, I, my man. I I did not want this to happen. You saw me slow down, right? Yeah, I saw you slow down, but apparently not enough. So we don't want to break stuff, obviously that is never the goal. And we are no. doing this before we have actually built the course. Uh, so this was you know, a pre-course video. But the whole point behind building the course, Roman, is to make it challenging also. Right. So I do want to apologize. Sorry guys, here I am. Uh, I feel terrible about this. Uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes you, you know, you... Oh, you did break something else off, Andre. What the heck what is, is that? What is that? What, what did you break off down there? Oh, it's my double chin. What's your double chin? It's the chin that comes down is with it high the, speed. Is it the arrow? Uh, it's the arrow chin. Well, well because this is a sophisticated truck, a very aerodynamically... Yeah, but it's, it's, it's backcountry. But you also want to get good economy on the, on the, on the highway. It is a conundrum. What is this piece that we left here in Nathan's crack? This is my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, Roman. So, what is this? Oh, so, so there is a bracket here. And the bracket here and over about 40 45 miles an hour it lowers improves aerodynamics of the truck are you oh. saying you're going over 45 miles an hour when you No, i was not oh look oh my gosh uh, now we know look that's what you hit uh that is a rock yeah i was wondering how you did a dent that big on the frozen earth. Uh, but we've ran this before, Roman. We have. Uh, I don't remember this. Well, let's sort it out forever. Bad rock! Wow. Bad! You're bad rock! You're strong, Roman. Nathan's crack has a rock. What, what does one do with a rock? Put it by the fence. How about if we, yeah, yeah, we'll just put it by. We'll put it over here as a reminder to, to be more careful. Oh. I'm, and it's, it's, it's not our truck, it belongs to Ram, of course, as we said, so I feel awful. If it was my truck, I would take it back and fix it myself, but now I, f I feel really awful. But now it's my turn to go. One minute, 54, I believe. Please don't break it. <laughs> the rock is gone. So one of the great things about the blue truck, the GT, it has air suspension, so I've raised it over here to its off-road height to give me more ground clearance, so hopefully I don't have the same issue that Andre had. All right, Andre, I've got this thing up high and ready to rock and roll. You're just showing off now. Hey, hey. I'm right. Hey, hey, one, go. This is bottom one.
trying to stay in the tracks. <laughs> Alright, now it's quick turn. Quick turn, 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 turn. Alright. Look at the sideways into Andre's pit. I'm just following his exact line so that it's fair. Andre's pit is no problem for the Rebel GT. Up and over. Ooh. Up and 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 up Test of approach and approach angle. All right, no problem. Full on now, come on. Come on. Sideways. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's the rocks. Oh, sideways, sideways. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't want to ram into the fence. Oh, stop. Whew. That was a hoot. One minute twenty-three. What was my time, Andre? I don't even want to talk about it. Should I do a solo bit for uh, Florida? Yeah, you beat me by thirty seconds. Oh yeah, hell yeah, GT. And roll. Roman, you know what? Uh, I don't know what happened when I was driving yeah. and damaging my chins, yeah. but your truck sounds incredible. You know what? This truck is incredible. <laughs> what? You know, like I said, if you can't quite afford a TRX, this is not second best. This is just as good because let's face it, Andre, even though a TRX has 702 horsepower, I didn't need 702 horsepower here. This was perfect. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Ram, sorry, guys. <laughs> we feel horrible, but you do build a hell of a fun truck. Well, yeah, so if you have air suspension, better shocks, better clearance. You know what, Andre? That, that, that one, that's a kind of hunting truck. That's what you take hunting. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, this is, slowly. This is what you take the bomb across the Baja. See you guys next time. Ciao.